Hello everyone, my name is Happy67, and today I'm here to describe my thoughts on uh, Chapter 2, Season 1, and to go over some of the Battle Pass skins and my overall thoughts of the season. And uh, the reason why I'm using this skin right now, the Night Knight skin, it's because it perfectly summarizes what like the current state of Fortnite is, and right now, it's a, and how, describe how Chapter 2 is. A complete joke. So yeah, I found this skin perfect for this video. Alright, so, let's go over the skins that we got in this battle pass. I think so, I think they were actually pretty good. Alright, so let's go over, uh, actually I just noticed, uh, Fusion is the, uh, only legendary skin you get in the battle pass. But, uh, okay. So we got, uh, first is, uh, Turk vs. Riptide. Two head styles, we got Turk. I think he kind of remind. he kind of makes me think of the guild skin. Kind of gives me, uh, guild vibes. It's because of the, uh, face, maybe. It's alright, I kind of, like dig the beanie. Riptide looks really cool. Gives me Deathstroke vibes and a, a Snake vibes too. From I think it was like Metal Gear Solid. Actually, looks really cool. I like I like Riptide more. We're gonna get on Journey vs Hazard. Kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. This one's actually pretty cool. The uh, jur uh, Journey looks actually pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Bright Bomber. Not gonna lie. And Hazard actually looks really cool. Love black and green. Always love green. And uh. It's almost has the same color scheme as Mesmer. Green and black. Awesome. Kind of like it. And plus she has a hood. Pretty cool. Let's see. Ripley versus Sludge. Actually there's three. We got Ripley. Sludge. And the uh, purple Ripley. I kind of like purple Ripley. I kind of like the purple Ripley out of the three. Kind of like I like that more. I think it's this one's this one's good. This one's good. I actually think they're pretty good. I really like the color choices that Epic went with these, with, uh, these ad styles. We got Remedy vs. Toxin. We got Remedy. She's looking like a snack and she's a cutie. Just easily one of the cutest uh, Battle Pass skins in Fortnite. Uh, next Catalyst. And uh, <clears throat> anyway. Alright, Toxin. Really cool. like the goggles. Oh, I like the uh, little like claws or like the nails she has. like that black and green. like this mask one. Pretty cool. And purple. Awesome. Really awesome skin. Probably, I feel like this is probably like my, the, my favorite Battle Pass skin. I actually know. I feel like the next one coming up, I'm about to, the next one I'm about to talk about is my favorite one. Um, this one, uh, the next one, Eight Ball versus Scratch. <clears throat> so we got Eight Ball, Scratch, and look at this. I'm gonna select it real quick. Look at that. I got a fully corrupted, the fully corrupted Scratch. I wish there was an SI where it can be uh, the white Scratch, and we got gold, which is awesome. So yeah, eight ball is my uh, favorite skin in this uh, in the battle pass. Let me just go back and put nine nine back on. All right. Next we got cameo versus chick or cheek I think cameo versus cheek. <clears throat> so we got cam cameo cameo pretty cool. I I think this I, I I think she's I think she's okay. I kind of like the little like bra she has right there and the uh, skirt and the hair and the goggles pretty cool. Chick cheek. I keep saying chick. Cheek is awesome. Dig the uh, glasses. I really like the black and pink on her. And oh, I like that uh, rolly that she has. The little uh, watch that she has. Really cool. And the uh, yellow cheek. Pretty cool. It's kind of weird to see her without her glasses though, but still looks pretty awesome. All right, and the finally the tier 100 skin of the season, the fusion skin. I love this side style. Looks really cool. This one's good. And this one's good. I kind of like this one. This one gives me like Noob Saiba vibes, for, Noob Saiba from Mortal Kombat vibes. And uh, yeah, I kind of like this one the best. I you get it's like it actually looks really cool this way. And uh, yeah, those are all the battle pass skins. Now let me go over my overall thoughts of the season. So far, I think the season has been like I think it's been it's good. It was good in the beginning, like it was great in the beginning. I thought this season was gonna be like uh, one of the best seasons that we had, since up there with like season two. I I don't think I think two is alright, but I feel like a lot of people like it because of nostalgia. Um, up there with like three, four, six, even seven. I feel like it'll be up there with one of the like as being one of the best seasons that we have, but. I feel like what the extension is what really made it like not a lot not a lot of people like it. It's that the extension, that huge extension we got, and on top of another extension, which up to February 20th, which is in about a week from now. I know it's insane. I I'm hyped up for season two. It's all I really cannot wait. So um, we got a brand new map, which is awesome. I really like, and we got some new graphics, which make the game look gorgeous and realistic. 
and uh, we also got a. Uh, let's see, we also got the uh, Fort Nightmares event with like the Storm King LTM and stuff like that. I think the rewards are pretty cool, and the skins are really awesome too. Probably the best Halloween skins that we ever got in uh, any Fort Nightmares. Uh, let's see, we got the Winterfest event, they gave us two free skins, all the free crap that we got, and also the Star Wars event, pretty, it was pretty lame, I mean, like, the lightsabers were cool in for about a week, but then after a week, it, it, was, it was just pretty much overstayed its welcome, and, uh, yeah, that, the Winterfest was pretty cool, and, yeah, a bunch of free rewards, and had the Crackdown lot music and stuff like that, really cool, uh, let's see, right now we got the current, we got the event that's going on right now, the Love and War event, which is actually pretty, I think it's so far pretty good, but I feel like the rewards are kind of lame, like, Seriously, I mean the pickaxe. Yeah, I'm not complaining about a free pickaxe, but I'm not. I'm not a big fan of dualies. So I mean, since this is a personal, this is my personal opinion. I'm not a fan of dualies, and on top of that, they're pink. Uh, I, I just don't see myself using those that much. But not to mention the XP. Epic, can you please chill on the XP? I feel like at this point, if you're not level 100, there's no excuse that you're not level 100 this season. It's just been, it's one of the most boring seasons we ever had. We technically had two weapons, which was the harpoon gun and the uh, AK, and that was about it. That was just kind of, I mean, the harpoon gun's really cool. Kind of makes me, if I want to roleplay Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, I could just use that. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, we, we barely even got any map changes, like, but, yeah, besides just the event that we had in Risky Rails and the, um, uh, in the center island where we had a bunch of zombies for Four Nightmares. That was, like, the only, we barely got any map changes. I know there's, like, lack of mobility. I mean, yeah, we got a bunch of new, uh, game features. My one personal favorite of mine is the, uh, the yeet feature, where you can carry a downed, a downed, uh, opponent, and then you can either eat them, or you can just, like, uh, throw them, or you, or you can just, like, drop them or stuff. And when you carry them around, it's like you're holding them hostage, or, like, you're abducting them, which is awesome, which actually looks really funny, which is actually pretty funny. Um, Yeah. So far, I think Battle Pass is great, but I mean, this season's been really dry on content. I'm not even kidding. I haven't played. I, I haven't played this game in like three days. I'm not even kidding. Like, I only get on now. I just only get on to get my Save the World bonus and just see what's good in the item shop. And right now, just because the Lotus Star wrap is back, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. Okay. Um. <clears throat> now that's over with. Okay. So, I, overall, I feel like this season could have been bet. It could have been great, but without that huge extension, if we didn't get that huge extension, I feel like this could have been, like, one of the best seasons of Fortnite. I mean, it was great. We got a brand new map. We got a bunch of brand new features. I know it brought a lot of people back to the game, especially it brought some hype in after we had that Black Hole event. Brought some hype, especially after Season X, but I kind of missed some of the crazy and fun stuff that Fortnite had, like the Shockwave Grenades. And not to mention, we barely have mobility. I mean, we got boats, but they're only good on water. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty bad on land, not gonna lie. Um, but seriously, like, where's the content, Epic? Seriously, they, like, we barely got patched notes in the beginning. Well, I can understand in the beginning, because they probably want, since it's a brand new map, we want to discover everything, I can understand that. But, man, Epic just has been slacking on content recently. We barely got any content. It literally just, it made the game feel so dry, and we didn't have any fun stuff added, because I feel... I just don't like when games are overly balanced. I kind of like when there's like fun and wacky stuff added because that's what makes the game really fun. Because you can do a bunch of stuff, and that's why I haven't uploaded in three days. Just Fortnite is just so dry. It's so dry. It's I'm not even kidding. It's so boring. Like I just want season two to come already, dude. Just I mean, come on. It's like we had the season for like four or five months now. Like, I really hope we don't get a season this long ever again. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> Just, oh my goodness, dude. And I feel like bots are a fun addition, too. But I, what I really don't like about the season is the forced crossplay and the skill-based matchmaking. Since I'm not really, I mean, I, I'm semi, I'm a semi-sweat, I mean, I'm kind of a, I can sweat sometimes. But I'm getting paired with a bunch of sweat lords and when I queue up for solos or duos. Like, it's just not, it just feels not fun, dude. And I'm at your forced crossplay, so I'm also have to play with PC players too. In my solo and duo lobbies, how is that fair? They have like two over 250 FPS. Meanwhile, I'm just a console pleb with 60 FPS. How on... How on earth is that fair? I really hope they take out Force Crossplay in uh, Chapter Two, Season Two, where we don't. So therefore, since us PS4 players can, we could just play with either uh, probably just other PS4 players in our lobbies. I'm not saying take out Crossplay. Them. 
c completely because I like to play with my uh, friends who play with on who play on Xbox, mobile, PC, Nintendo Switch, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just so bored of Fortnite right now, and I don't know if I'm gonna be competing in that PlayStation Cup because I'm just that bored, and I'm not that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna. And the skin right there. I mean, it's all right, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't see myself running it that much. And uh, yeah, that basically summarizes what for. Um, what I think about uh, Fortnite right now, or not Fortnite right now, and the whole entire season. The whole entire season, because uh, yeah, chapter two is uh, chapter uh, season two is in, is in less than a week right now, which is crazy actually. After all the the friggin' all the terrible extensions that were added, I cannot wait for season chapter two. Ch cha chapter two, season two. I cannot speak. And uh, yeah. Those are my thoughts on Chapter 2 Season 1. Hope you all enjoy it. Hope you all enjoy the video. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.